When people think about sequencing a patient's DNA, we often think about sequencing the normal cells, which we call the germline, and this typically picks up inherited mutations. Crucially in cancer, we can also use next generation sequencing to sequence the patient's tumour DNA, which will have the hundreds upon thousands upon millions of mutations that will be driving that cancer to develop. And that's how we pick up mutational signatures. There is a specific type of colorectal cancer, which is to do with uh, problems that the cells have in the way they repair their DNA. Because you can imagine that something that makes mistakes will tend to make the same mistake each time, that leaves a footprint or a mark on the DNA, and that's referred to as a mutational signature. People should be excited about mutational signatures moving into the future because of the impact that they can potentially have for diagnosis and treatment and for giving us clues in the research arena of new places to look. So we have a case in which mutational signatures have an impact or a bearing on that, that patient's treatment. So this was a 43-year-old gentleman uh, who didn't have any family history of cancer and was found to have a very large uh, tumour in his liver. That tumour was biopsied and actually found to be a colorectal cancer. Because of this tiny biopsy sample that we had, we weren't able to do that testing. But what we were able to do was sequence the whole genome. When we got that sample back, actually we saw that mutational signature. There was a problem with DNA repair for that patient. And we could also go back and sequence the patient's matched DNA from the blood, which told us that they'd actually inherited a mutation that was causing that mutational signature. And that was unexpected because this patient didn't have a family history. And that's got an impact for that patient on a number of levels. So we know that that patient's family needs to be tested. We know that patient's prognosis is perhaps slightly improved by having that mutational signature and that problem, even though they've got widespread disease. And what's most important is this patient has actually progressed through the first line of chemotherapy. So their tumor's growing. But because of that problem with the DNA repairing itself, we can use something called immunotherapy, which is a very new type of treatment for cancer. It boosts the immune system ability to attack the tumour. So this patient stands a really good chance of, of doing well on that treatment, which at the moment is only in trials. But we can enter that patient into a trial just on the basis of this finding. So there's many, many dimensions to how genomic medicine is really driving better cancer treatment and treatment that's more personal to the individual patient.